Rising to learn today that the crime rate in Charlotte is up for the first quarter. Yeah, stats released today by the department show an increase of 14% in violent crimes and an overall increase of 4.5% for all crimes. NBC Charlotte's Rad Berkey live in Uptown and Rad. What's the department saying about the increase? Well, Sarah, they can't uh, pinpoint exactly what reason, but at least when it comes to those homicide numbers, they feel that more people are choosing to settle arguments with a gun. What's interesting is Deputy you, Chief you Jeff Esty said for the first crime quarter, rate. crime in Charlotte increased 4.5%. The most glaring increase, homicides, where at the end of March, there were 21, an increase of over 90%. And since the end of March, there have been 11 more. Some local residents wonder what is going on. It's scary. I hope that it they do something to decrease that number. SC says if you look at crime stats for the last five years, though, the rate is actually going down. So I hope you can see the story from five years to one year to where we are today. We are trending in the right direction. Do you think the police department's doing a good job? I think the police department does the best that they can, yeah. At last Monday night's city council meeting, members of the police union complained of a lack of support. One officer saying the so-called Ferguson effect was in play, meaning some officers were looking the other way, afraid any action they took would be second guessed. Can I say that no officer feels the Ferguson effect? No. But Estes admits he can't speak for every officer, adding he doesn't believe the police union can either. I would be very cautious uh, to say anyone speaks for every rank and file member. And SD said he wanted to point out an important point, and that is that since April, CMPD officers have made 19 arrests at active crime scenes. That means they drove up and arrested the bad guy. He said those officers certainly did not show any evidence of the Ferguson effect. Live at CMPD headquarters, Rad Berkey, NBC Charlotte. All right, well, we know they're out there working hard, Rad. Thank you for your report. A deadly pet virus taking over the Lancaster County Animal Shelter, causing it to close until further notice. Today, doctors confirmed.